Hi all, welcome to Not That Mob. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to save images into SQL Server DB using C Sharp. Before starting the lesson, I would like to give one point towards performance of your application. If the image is lower in size, save image into SQL Server DB. Otherwise, it is recommended to save the image in local file directory. And then you can save or insert the image path in the DB. And like I said, in this video I will show how to save image in SQL Server DB using a small Windows application like this. Here I open the sample project in my Visual Studio 2013. It has only one Windows form containing one text box for entering the image title then browse button is to select the image for upload save button is to save the enter details into database and we have a clear button to reset the form controls now let me run the application to show how it works now I have to enter the image title here cat image selecting the image for upload image preview will be shown here and saving the image this save successfully the save records will be shown in this grid view and dub while double click on it we can see the image that I uploaded and the image title here actually the record is opened for update operation if you want to edit or change the image we can do it here if I want to change the image to flower or something you can select the image changing the image title clicking on update yes. it is updated successfully if I double click on it the updated details will be shown here that's it now back to the project source code and like I said we have only one windows form and while looking into the background code of this form you can see that here I have declared a region for variable declaration instead that I have one image ID variable is to say the image the uh, raw ID and str file path is to save the selected image path and default image is to say the default image that is this one no image available that is the default image will be saved into this uh, local variable and we have one byte array variable is to save the encrypted uh, binary of the selected image and finally we have one SQL connection to connect the database and here you can see the connection string of my database after downloading the source project your uh, connection string will be different in that case you may have to change the connection string according to yours now inside the form constructor that is FRM main the initialize component method is called to initialize the all form elements that you can see in every windows application after that i have initialized the default image with the initial image and then after that i have called the function refresh image grid refresh image grid is to refresh or or show all the records into the data grid view that we have saved so far the function will be uh, discussed later now 
in the browse button click event I have written code for opening one open dialog open file dialog it will allow the user to select the local images and I have restricted images into PNG and JPEG images and after selecting the image image path will be saved into str file path then the actual image will be updated into the preview picture box this is a picture box and the picture box image will be updated with the selected image and if the image title is empty we will uh, show the selected image name in that text box and that's all about the browse button and in the clear button click event we will clear or reset the form elements that are the image id uh, form control txt title then the preview picture box is uh, initialized with default image then st of path is reset to empty string then button uh, between save text to save now let's look into the save button click event first of all I have checked whether the title is empty or not if the title is empty I will show a message box showing please enter image title if the title is non empty then I will check the image path is empty or not if the file path is empty in the case no image selected so we will uh, save empty byte array into the db indicating a default image if the file path is not empty we will uh, get that image from the file path then we will save that image into memory stream using the save method inside the image class then we will convert that uh, image into byte array okay now i am going to save this title and image into sql server using a stored procedure called image add or edit before that let me show you the table in my db this is the table that i used to save data from the application it has three columns image id title and image image id is the primary key of the table and it is identity specified column that means upon each insertion the column value will be incremented by one and it is automatically inserted by the SQL server and the title is used to save the title from the application and the image uploaded as the binary array and the column uh, data type is image now back to our application here I have checked the SQL connection state is open or closed if it is closed I will open it here then I have created a SQL command object SQL CMD I initialized with the image store procedure image add or edit that you can see here image add or edit then I have passed the image ID then uh, title then image byte array and the uh, command is executed after that the connection is closed now we can check the stored procedure and this procedure is used to save the uh, records or used to edit the record also if the image id is zero it indicates we have to insert the record into the table now you can see that here uh, insert 
uh, statement is written here insert into image then column list then values and then if it is greater than zero you will update the image and image table uh, using the uh, image ID with the uh, new title and image after uh, executing the uh, query then we will show saved successfully message then clear to the clear uh, method is called to uh, reset the column elements then I have called the refresh image grid like I said before refresh image grid method is just to refresh the data grid view after each save or update operation here you can see I have called the image view all store procedure to refresh that image records after fetching all those records it is uh, set as the data grid view source okay then after that one more thing is left the uh, now let's add one uh, record title as bird image then browsing so going to select one image and saved so the image is saved successfully now if we click on this uh, row the record is opened for update operation that is done inside the uh, click event of this grid view that you can see here cell click event there I have uh, retrieved the record uh, contents and then showed into the uh, elements that you can see here the title is filled with the uh, appropriate title here I have converted that image into byte array and stored into the uh, variable image byte array here I check whether the byte array is empty or not using the length attribute if it is empty it indicates that the record contains default image so the picture box is updated with default image otherwise the image uh, array is converted into back into the image and the picture box is uh, set with the corresponding image then the image id is updated with the record id then the button text is changed into the update text that's it guys you can download this project with a SQL script from the link given below in video description Please be subscribed to my channel Dr. Mo. If you have any suggestion or doubts, you can comment in the comment box. Uh, if you have any video tutorial suggestion, you can comment in the uh, comment box also. Have a nice day. Bye.